So I am out at the Oregon Garden. I'm with Dellen. And Dellen, um, tell me what you do here at the Garden, first of all. I'm the membership coordinator, which means I put on events for our members, and Lovely. one of those events includes geocaching. And geocaching is what we're actually going to be talking about. Now, first of all, uh, tell me what it is. I, I have to say, I've heard of it, but I don't know how it works or anything. So geocaching, uh, they kind of call it a worldwide treasure hunt. So it happens all over the world, and we're very enthusiastic about it here at the Garden. And you guys have been doing it for a year or so, but you, tell me how it is that you got involved with geocaching, that it's actually the real thing happens here, but you've expanded. Exactly. We have official geocaches here, and geocaches are little items sort of that you hide and you can go out and find with a GPS device. Which is this. Which you've got there. <laughs> or if you have a GPS enabled phone, you can use that. Which is this. As well. <laughs> exactly. So the official caches are listed on the website, geocaching.com, but we have expanded to include 15 unofficial geocaches that you could only get here at the Oregon Garden. Cool. And we've printed out a little passport that you can get for a nominal fee here at the visitor center and then you can use your phone or your GPS device, which is available to rent. Uh, that fee includes the GPS device. So this is the one that if, if I don't have a, a very smart phone, I can rent right here and do Exactly. It. Cool. We got everything cool. you need right here to geocache. So, and is there a way that you like, well, you know what, let's talk about that out there. Let's go find one right now, all right? Okay, <laughs> let's go. Okay, Dellen, I, I can see that we are really, really close to finding this one, but I do find it kind of cool that we're in the children's garden because this is a great family activity, isn't it? Absolutely. It's great for kids and it's a great way to see parts of the garden that you might not have seen before. Well, here, I, I'm pretty sure, oh, yep, look right there. Hey, there so, you go. this is it, isn't it? You found it. Now, there are some, some things to do with this, so what is it once I find it that I open it, what do I do? I'm gonna let you open it. Sure. <laughs> well, you're gonna find some things in here. Some treats. This is part of the treasure hunt. Ooh, ooh. There you go. And you get to take anything from here? You can take whatever you want, but the rule is if you take something, you have to leave something. Well, you know, I know these are broken, but I, I really like these smoke and sunglasses. So they look real I'll good take on those. You. And look what I have to leave. Garden time seeds. So I just put those in there? You put those right in there. We're going to close it up, and then we're going to put it right back where we found it. And then how do you track this for, for things? I mean, how do I know that I actually found this on that passport there? So on the inside of the geocache is going to be a password um, on the lid or inside the canister, because it can be a different kind of container. And then you're going to enter that password right here on your geocaching passport. And once you complete all of the geocaches here in the garden, you're actually entered to win a night stay at the resort. Right here? Here, oh at the garden. Goodness. Isn't that, that great? Is, that is very, very cool. Now, I, although I like all of this and it's fun, I'm not sure that I'd really get how to do this still. So how can you help me with that? Sure. Well, you're in luck because we're actually having an upcoming nice. class. Um, for kids and adults through our Garden University program that's going to teach you all the basics of geocaching and then we're actually going to go out and do some more geocaching in case you haven't gotten enough. I, 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 I haven't, so yes, I want to do some more myself. Listen, this is really fun. It's, and it is a family thing. You can get together and have all kinds of fun with the kids. And where else better to do it than right here at the Oregon Garden? So for more information on this, on the class, on the garden itself, go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. Really, this was a lot of fun, Dell, and thank you. Thank you so much.